Attention students and esteemed alumni, it's that time of year again. Homecoming. Grab your pom-poms, batons, and yearbooks and meet us in the common area for a good old-fashioned Parkview pep rally to cheer on a handful of positions with home field advantage. Today we'll visit Bishop Dwinger High School. Go Saints! Dave. Hey, how you doing? Good to see ya. Ready to see what's changed? I guess so. Welcome back. Should we go in the visitors or the students? How about the former student entrance? Well, how do we look? How's the uh, uniform? You're, you're, both of you are, let's see, you're ah. really out of uniform. What? You have to have a solid shirt. What are you talking about? Your tie's good. I Long thought this was, pants. I wore this shirt. Perfect shoes. Oh, uh oh. And you're untucked. Is that a detention or? You, you're perfect. You got your Dwyer blue and gold on, you've got your khakis. Your shoes are against oh, dress code. Unless you so have a, a doctor's cardiologist. excuse. I'll probably get a doctor's <laughs> excuse. I'm sure I can come up with one. Can you give him a doctor's note? <laughs> it's nice to come back to Dwanger after all these years. Certainly things have changed since I was here, but uh, all three of my kids went through Dwanger. Actually, my fondest memory was when they announced the uh, top ten of the class, uh, and, and I was valedictorian. I walked in and immediately noticed that all the same athletes were on the, the wall, you know, all of the same pictures that I had been staring at my four years thinking maybe I'll get up there someday. <laughs> I guess that was a goal of mine, I don't know why, it was very, you know, just competitive. You know, I had geometry here and English Lit here and, and chemistry and very nostalgic. Um, I think I liked my time more than I remembered. These are some of my friends here, 2005, so gymnastics was really good, women's, uh, women's soccer was really good. A lot of last names are the same, and you just think, is that parent, grandparent, child? <laughs> oh, this is nice. One of the old rickety bleachers. Yeah, it's much brighter. Wow. I remember PE. I remember uh, square dancing. Yeah. Fine dancing. Did you guys do we that We did too? square dancing. Okay. Have you been to the new field? No, first time. Looks great. Look at this place. Looks new. It smells new. Look at these guys. What a nice turf field. Didn't have that either. I don't know if I was necessarily like the nerd type, but I had a good, a great group of friends. We studied together and played sports together, and we, we all tried to do well, kind of future focused, preparing for college. I was a good student. Uh, I did a lot of tutoring, and I always felt that teaching something is the best way to affirm your own knowledge of it. And if you can explain it to somebody who's struggling, then you know you understand the concepts. And that's something that I still use on a daily basis when I explain medical conditions to patients because I need to be able to anticipate their questions, answer their questions, and explain it in a way they can understand that shows them that I understand what's going on with them. I knew I wanted to do something science related, um, but uh, when I went to college, I kind of discerned a little bit more, um, okay, I, I really want to stick you know, to my fellow man and kind of um, see how I can help. And, and I, I really enjoyed physiology and some of the, the human sciences. So ultimately decided to go to medical school probably halfway through college. Uh, certainly I had strong teachers here at Dwenger with the sciences, Mrs. Smokstas, Sister Kathleen, Ms. Nolan, that uh, inspired me to go on a science-based career. Because my dad said I could be any kind of doctor I wanted. Uh, but I actually didn't decide to uh, go into medicine until uh, junior or senior year of college. Yeah, I, I only ever knew this as the cafeteria, and I'll be honest, it smells the exact same. This brings back a lot of memories, the, what I'm smelling, right? <laughs> but one thing that I did do was um, I was the designated ice cream cone maker, okay? So that meant I, got, I get to get out of fourth period or whatever, ten minutes early, get my lunch done. That was my job. I think I got paid like $2 an hour or something. And I made some pretty good cones, I'd say. I got in trouble a lot with the lunch ladies because friends would come by and they're saying, that was way too big, Jake. I'm like, oh. The important part of Dwanger was interaction with my peers. And it's those interactions and, and that ability to speak to others and understand uh, their perspectives that's helped me relate to patients uh, as a physician. Dwanger helped you focus on that obligation to your fellow man, fellow woman, and not just on the physical level in medicine, but the spiritual level, the emotional, psychological level. I've always been deeply interested in getting to know people and their stories. And, you know, not just why did you come to the hospital, but, you know, what motivates you, what's important to you. And as a hospital medicine doctor, I, I get to do that through Parkview. I've been very blessed, I think, through Dwanger, Notre Dame, and 
and all my schooling that um, there's good people, good examples, good leaders that, that help us learn how to not just focus on the science, but really the person.